Good Monday morning, Farmdale Foxes, and welcome to another week of weekly updates. Can you believe we are on the countdown to the end of the school year? But that doesn't mean you need to stop learning. We need to keep it going because you are close to being to your next grade. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of exciting announcements, um, but let's get started. Let's see the... So we need to go to the weekly survey and see who our winners are. To be entered this week, you needed to answer because he was horsing around. So let's go to our spinner and pick our five names of the week. I was excited last week. I got to bring three or four in person, and then I only had to deliver two home to the home. So it was so great to see you. All right, we have Timothy Y. Congratulations. Timothy. All right, let's see who our next person is going to be. And it is, let's see, we have Juan P. Congratulations, Juan. I'm loving seeing my foxes around campus. Uh, it's so great to have you back. And for those of you on distance learning, we hope to have you back next school year. All right, we have Rihanna G. Congratulations, Rihanna. All right, our next fourth name. We've got two left. And let's see, our number four is going to Lolly M. And finally, our fifth and final name is going to I will be making sure to get you your prizes around on Wednesday. So let's get back to our announcements. All right, so again, a big congratulations to Timothy, Juan, Rihanna, Siglali, and Kaslin. You will get your prizes on Wednesday. Congratulations. And make sure to do your survey. You never know when your name will be picked. Uh, don't forget, for our distance learners, you can pick up your food every Friday from 10 to 12 in front of the school office. If you are an in-person student, you get your food on a daily basis, and on Thursday, you take home food for Friday. All right, don't forget, if you are a distance learner, um, you do need to make sure you're doing your daily work and checking in with your teacher. If you are an in-person student, you will do your work here, and then if you have any extra, do it at home, and everybody has Friday. So if you are sick, make sure to give us a call at the school office so we can notate that for you. All right, if your Chromebook is having issues, make sure to bring it. If you are an in-person student, you can bring it with you to have it checked out. If you're a distance learner, bring it in the afternoon so we can get it checked for you. Um, and make sure when you're on your Chromebook, you are doing appropriate searches, because if you search anything inappropriate, we do get that sent to us daily. All right, our perfect attendance, Mrs. Wally had perfect attendance on April 15th. Mrs. Cecil was April 14th and April 15th, and Mrs. Mua was April 14th and April 15th. Make sure to keep getting that work done and do those Zoom meetings. It's so great to see you guys because we're seeing a lot of you that we didn't see sometimes on Zoom, so it's good to see the smiling fox faces. All right, I have a shout out today for our speech competition students. Fourth and fifth graders have the option to be in our speech group. Um, they write a speech uh, about a topic they're interested in or create a fable story. And wow, they, are, they did an amazing job. And I want to thank Mrs. Vu for helping um, guide them to do those speeches. They will be moving on to the county competition, so good luck. Our fifth graders are Aiden, Cecilia, Kashua, and Naima. And in fourth grade, we have Anai, Juana, Sienna, and Reina. They were amazing. I can't wait to see the results of that competition. All right, and Writing Festival News, I want to thank Mrs. Robertson for running this with the county. We had 62 winners in our county writing festival. That is amazing. I'm so proud of everyone for doing that writing work. Keep writing. Write all the time. Write your thoughts, your feelings, because writing is just a great outlet. All right, library news. I want to congratulate Mrs. Uh, Molly in the library. She has been sending in lots and lots 
of uh, grant paperwork and these are free books she got for you guys. She is getting loads of free books for all of you. So thank you, Mrs. Molly. We really, really appreciate it uh, because we love to read around here. So, all right, and I have a book recommendation for you guys this week. Mrs. Villarreal, Villarreal shared this amazing book for you to read. Right now, Ramadan is going on, and so she shared this book called The Gift of Ramadan. Um, it's about a young girl celebrating that in her culture. So it, this is a great book if you want to learn about that. Um, so check it out and read it and let us know what you think. But thank you, Mrs. Villarreal. This is a wonderful book. All right, don't forget Friday Zoom recesses with Mr. Smith. Uh, check in. He has lots of activities for you guys to do, so don't miss out. All right, picture day is this week. On Monday, I'm going to, Monday, which is today, will be our TK, our kinder, our first, and our second grades, and our third through fifth will be tomorrow on Tuesday. Uh, if you are a distance learner, you guys can drive through between 12.30 and 3.30 to take your picture. We want everyone to take a picture again. I know we did it earlier in the year, and I'm sorry, but that uh, photography company totally messed up, and they are not that great. So we need to do it where we have everybody in the yearbook. So thank you all for coming and taking that second picture. All right, we have Kinder Roundup going on right now. I don't know if you know what that is. When you guys entered kindergarten, you remember you went to an appointment and they saw how you did. Well, we are doing that right now. So if you have any siblings who are going to be in kindergarten next year, make sure to let check with your parents if they've signed up yet. Because if they haven't, we need them here so that we can get them ready for next year. All right, our golden shoe for the week in kindergarten, Mrs. Larios, first grade, Mrs. Mua, second grade, Mrs. Villarreal, third grade, Mrs. Stroob, fourth grade, Mrs. Hillhouse, and fifth grade, Mrs. that should be Mrs. Bang. All right, our COVID checkpoint is open daily from 1 to 3 o'clock on Monday through Thursday and 8.30 to 3 on Friday. So you can go there if you need to pick anything up if you are a distance learner. All right, our quote of the week, this is our time. We can make every day better for each other. Do something nice for someone you sit next to. Do something nice for someone you see because we can make every day better by helping each other. All right, our joke of the week, what has two legs but can't walk? A pair of pants. All right, things are getting better. We are now in red. As you know, we are open, but we are still following protocols because we want to stay safe and we want to make sure we stop the spread here on campus. So make sure you're keeping your distance when you're around people. Make sure you're wearing those masks. Make sure you're washing your hands often. And if you are sick, make sure you're staying home. All right. All right, so make sure you are connected on Parent Square and Facebook for all up-to-date information. As we are nearing the end of the school year, we have a lot going on, so we want to make sure you know everything that's happening. All right, I want you all to have a great week. Continue working hard, um, and I'm here if you need anything, so Fox is up. To be a fox, repeat in your mind. Be safe, be responsible, be respectful, and be kind. All right, I love you all. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.